This is your physics class where you hopefully learn physics the fun way. Although full disclosure, I'm not the fun type. This video is topic, electromagnetic wave spectrum. And for us to know more about electromagnetic wave spectrum, we have to first know what do we mean by the word spectrum. Now spectrum is a broad range of similar things or qualities. The keywords would be broad range. So, to put it simply, electromagnetic wave spectrum is the broad range of all the types of EM waves because there are so many types of EM waves. And the type of EM wave will depend on its frequency or wavelength. Therefore, this type of EM wave would be different from this type of EM wave. Now, before we go through this topic, we have to remember what we have discussed on the previous video. Remember that frequency is inversely proportional to the wavelength. That means the higher the frequency, the shorter the wavelength. The lower the frequency, the longer the wavelength. Here's another interesting fact. By using the equation E equals H times F, we can actually say that the frequency is directly proportional to the energy. The higher the frequency, the higher the amount of energy. So now, let's take a look at the different EM waves that comprise the entire electromagnetic wave spectrum. First up, radio waves. These waves have the longest wavelengths and have the lowest frequencies, hence also have the lowest energies. One radio wave can even be several thousands of kilometers long, depending on its frequency. We use radio waves for TV reception, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, radio, of course, and more. Now we shorten the wavelength a little bit for us to reach microwaves. These waves are used for communications as well, weather forecasting, and of course, cooking popcorn. Shorter than microwaves are infrared radiation. This radiation is used in remote controls, night vision, thermometers, yes, those ones, and if you've lived long enough for file transfers. Before the advent of Bluetooth, we used infrared to send tones like this. And pictures like that. Further shortening the wavelength would lead us to visible light. Well, it makes things bright and beautiful. And we won't be able to see anything without it. Now, visible light has its own spectrum, which is primarily made up of six colors. Starting from the longest wavelength is red, then orange, yellow, green, blue, and of course, violet. Shorter than visible light is the ultraviolet radiation, which is oftentimes the bad guy. Well, it has its share of uses as well. UV can kill a number of germs and viruses. Also, to check if your money is fake. And in most detective films and series, yes, it's also used for forensic science. Much shorter than UV radiation is the X-ray. Perhaps it's one of the most popular in the EM spectrum. Why? Because it can see through you. And it can see through your back. And finally, the gamma ray. This has the highest amount of energy among all waves since it has the highest frequency and has the shortest wavelength. Since it has the highest frequency, it also has the highest amount of energy. It is used in radiotherapy to treat cancer patients and can also be used 
to sterilize food and equipment. Now, these EM waves can either be ionizing or non-ionizing. Non-ionizing radiation does not pose a significant threat in terms of destroying cells in your body. EM waves like the visible light and those with longer wavelengths are considered non-ionizing. Ionizing radiation may cause cell destruction. Therefore, you are not advised to be exposed to those radiation for longer periods of time. Now, most parts of UV, X-ray, and gamma rays are considered ionizing. Hope you understood the interesting facts about the entire EM wave spectrum and their uses.